everybody, this is Peggy for CropStop.com and today I'd like to show you something that's really kind of new to me. It's called the Embossing Plus Folders The Cuddle Bug. I have a couple of them here. This one's called the Fanciful Labels and then I've got this one called the Chick Circle. I started writing names on them because they don't put the names on them and I would forget later. And this one's called the Blooming Bouquet. Now before I go any further, let me explain to you why I have this purple tape up here. I teach a lot of classes, and if you see something with purple tape on it, that means it belongs to me, and I'm getting ready to use this in a class, so that's how I identified it. So that's what that purple is all about. All right, some of the other things that we're going to use is going to be our Glue Glider Pro. We're going to use some Distress Ink. I'm going to use the Wild Honey. I am absolutely loving this color. And then I made this flower using the Heartfelt stamps and the nest abilities and we're going to use that in the center of our card and then I'm just using this little applicator and then let me just show you real quick a couple of the cards that I threw together this is the one using the smaller folder called the chick circle frame right here and I just put a prima flower right in the center and stamped a verse under it and then this is the bigger one here now the flower in center here is one that I did the other day in a video using the new cuddle bug uh, quilling tool so I decided I'd throw it in the center of that card. Well, let's get started and show you how to do this. Now the first thing you want to do when you get your embossing plus is to take this outside covering off. A lot of folks were being confused by it, as was I, but the first thing you need to do is I just use my little pick from my Cricut and you pop out these little green tabs and of course I'm going to save those because I'll use them on something. Oops, I flew that one across the room there. And then the backs come out. So they're like little plastic caps and these will be really cute as frog's eyes. You know, I like to recycle everything. I'll try and come up with a card and I'll put those for little frog's eyes. Okay, and then you want to take this part off. Now, I save these and put them in a, a little a container behind my cuddle bug. And then when I need a shim, I use this to shim a lot of things if I want something cut a little deeper or embossed a little deeper. So don't throw them away. They're good to keep for that. And then the way your folder works is this is where you're going to put your paper right in here and this is a really nice metal and they're really etched really deep in there so you're going to get a good cut the other nice thing about these when you flip them over on the back you leave your paper in there you lift up this little piece of plastic acrylic here leaving it lie down and I'll show you this a little closer up when we get there and then you can go ahead and use your chalks your inks and or even you can use um, Glimmer Mist, and you could spray to highlight your, your cut image before you take it out of it, so it can be used as a stencil. Now let me bring the other one in and show you how we do this real quick. Now I'm going to use the Blooming Bouquet, and I've already cut my piece of cardstock to put in the center, and again you just raise it right up there, stick your paper in, and fold your folder down. It's real nice, and they're really good. Like that. Now if I didn't want to use the cuddle bug to emboss it, I could just lift the back up, and go ahead and chalk that, or ink it as I said, and use it as a stencil. So there's a lot of uses that you can do with this. So let's just do this part. Again, if you aren't familiar with a cuddle bug, you're going to use an A plate, a B plate, put your folder in, and another B plate. Get those lined up real good for you. And that's okay. Sometimes things are a little tight. My plates are a little bit bent from using them so often, so I don't worry too much about that little noise. Oops. Oh my goodness, tearing everything up here. Let me get myself back together. There we go. Then we're going to take this out. Now one of the things that you're going to need is going to be a little dental pick, or I use this, as I said, from my Cricut machine. You can use a little push pin. So we're going to open that up. Oh my goodness, look how wonderfully that... Oh, that is really embossed, really nice. Look at that. Wow. That is really cool. But if you'll notice, I don't know if the camera can pull in, there are some of the little spots that didn't come out when I pulled it up, and that's where I use my little pick, so I just push those through like so. So that's not a big deal, it just takes a couple minutes to do that. But then what I do, and again, you could have left this in your folder, but I just get my ink, put a little bit of ink on my little sponge here, and then I just want to highlight just a little bit the embossed areas gives it a little bit of touch. I kind of like to do it out here too. Now I did use an ivory cardstock, so uh, that's why I picked the honey ink to use on there. 
Now I'm not going to take the time to ink it up. You kind of get the idea how I did that. I don't even know if that's going to show, actually, because I'm going to put that flower in there. So you get the idea how you can ink that up outside of there. And then I just put a piece of foam tape on the back of my flower. And I'm going to put it right in the center, like so. And then I'm going to back it. So I probably need to trim it down a little bit to make it look a little nicer. But that gives you the idea how that's going to look. You know what? Let me just trim that down real quick. Now, I went ahead and put a little bit more ink on there and applied my flower. Now let me just bring in my uh, glue glider here. And I'll put some in between the little openings. Get some in the center. There we go. And we're going to center this up. Now I'm going to make a special card. This is a card front. I haven't put the card on the back of there yet. So, there you go. Isn't that just awesome? Now I want to show you just one more thing. You know how I pulled mine out and inked it outside of that stenciled area. Let me show you what happens if you leave it in there. Now I've went ahead and I ran this through the cuddle bug so you could it's already embossed. Let me show you what you can do before you take it out of there. Again, I'm going to use that wild honey. And what's nice is that this is metal, so I can easily wash this off without even worrying about it staining because it won't stain. I don't know if you can really see how that's coloring in there really nicely. And you just hold that little piece of acrylic up out of your way. It just is just the nicest thing. I am just really liking these. Now they do have other styles of these. I believe that there is one that's larger that you could emboss and then put a photograph in there for scrapbooking and I'm kind of looking forward to getting that one. So let's see what happened here. See if I did a good job. Ooh, -wee, look at that. Wow, that is really, look, I mean, this is, you can see the difference here. I just need to show you. See here, I colored the whole card without having it in the stencil. But with keeping it inside there and using that as a stencil, I just was able to get it right on the embossed parts. And again, I'm just going to bring my little pick in here and get these little guys out. So they're very easy to get out of there. Some people do get a little flustered there in there, but you know what? It just takes a second to snap them right out of there. There you are. Oh, one more. Let me get a hold of him back here. There we go. So there you are. Let me stick that on the back of here. Maybe you can see it better. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just so nice. I mean, the embossing, I really wish you could pick it up on the camera how really deeply embossed it is. But take my word for it, it embosses beautifully. So now that's what we call the Cuddle Bug Plus. Let me bring these cards back in. You can kind of see the difference there. Now this one, I liked it. You could have done this a couple of ways. I kind of used it as the frame at the top. Anyway, that's what I did with my new Cuddle Bug Embossing Plus folders. So... Hop on over there to CropStop.com and get yourself some of these wonderful, wonderful embossing folders from Cuddlebug. They're new. Have a great day. Bye.